I've already pre-shuffled and I'll be using two oracle cards for your oracle advice. Then we'll go through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So, Gemini, for your advice we have attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. And then we also have support. Now on the flip side of this card it reads expect help. A excuse me, expect help. A divine power more magnificent than anything else exists on the planet is ready to support our every moment. So basically it's saying that if you feel like attacking someone or if you experience pain, fear, or maybe you just feel like being really judgmental towards someone or some or any type of separation. It's call it calls for help. Uh, some people are just normally that way. They like to attack people, cause pain, uh, cause fear. And they're very critical. So, this could be you or someone that's coming towards you like this or someone that you know. So, if this is you, the advice is saying, expect help. There's a divine power, more magnificent than anything that exists on the planet and they're ready to support you. So, yeah, because those things like uh, attacking and pain and fear that people like to inflict on others, um, you know, we all have those type, we all know those type of people. They're usually called trolls. So, there's support if it's some type of situation or a person like that that's, that's um, bothering you. Or this could be you, and I hope it's not Gemini. But there is help for whatever the situation is. There is a divine power. So that is your advice from Oracle. And let's move on over to the recent past. We have the Two of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Now with the Two of Wands, it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to mundane, boring things, boring things like eating right and getting enough rest. Now, the Two of Wands is about a partnership with another person. It could be business or personal or both. But this Two of Wands, it reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. If things were out of control in the recent past, if they were out of balance, just know that they were about to get substantially better. So you needed to keep your eyes on the prize in the recent past. Keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. And just remain or stay positive. Get positive. This two of wands. When it talks about love and relationships. If you were already in a relationship at that time. It would have gotten more equal. So you need to pay attention to your ideas about equality and balance them and share them. And if you were single, Gemini's, in the recent past, and you were looking for love or a relationship, someone who could be good for you was likely already a part of your world. They were already in your life, and you probably didn't know it. So you would have needed to not judge a book by its cover. Because there was someone there that was really good for you. Hopefully you didn't pass them over because you didn't like the way their shoes look or something. That's what this card is about. So if someone was interested in you in the recent past, Gemini, and you were single, you would have needed to give them a chance. Because this relationship, it, it would have been just what you were looking for. That's with the Two of Wands. Now let's take a look at the Ace of Pentacles. 
Ace of Pentacles, uh, you are probably finding that you were enjoying new beginnings on several levels. This would have been positive new beginnings. You were probably feeling really optimistic and upbeat and hopeful about the future. Things probably were going really well for you. You could have also been starting maybe uh, something new very soon. This could have been in the area of work or personally, but either way, it would have been a really good thing with this Ace of Pentacles. So, with these two cards together for your recent past, now let, let me just say with the Ace of Pentacles, when you're asking about relationships and love questions, uh, if you were in a relationship at that time, it would have rose to, to new and better heights. Uh, you two would have reconnected with the Ace of Pentacles. And if you were single, Geminis, and you get this Ace of Pentacles and you were looking for a relationship, it was a very positive time to get out and meet people. So hopefully that's what you did. Because something new would have started that was very promising in terms of love. Or it did. So you should have been tried to be prepared or you did get prepared and just think positive. And you probably had a lot of fun. So, with the two cards paired together for your recent past, Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, um, it's about um, trying to make things a lot more equal, keeping your balance, even with little simple things. Uh, you would have needed to do that in the recent past because you had a lot of positive new beginnings. And if you were off balance, that would have that would have messed up your new beginnings. So everything would have taken off in a really great way in the recent past, or it did. Um, but you need needed there was probably a little bit imbalance there that you needed to um, balance certain things out. Uh, it could have been in a relate. It could have been in a connection that you were with, but something could have been off, and it was important for you to. Um, straight things out because you had a lot of great things coming towards you. And like I said, a, rip, a lot of great new beginnings with the Saints of Pentacles. With the Two of Wands, you have to try to balance. And if you didn't, things you would have um, probably messed up the new beginning. So let's move on over and take a look at the present time. We have the Death card, the Two of Swords. Now, the death card does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. Because we are all creatures with free will and such things, they're not written in stone. Keep in mind, this card, it simply indicates transformation and change. This is definitely a time of deep transformations for you, Gemini likely to be both internally and externally in your life situations. Things and people that you counted on or have gotten used to, they'll probably no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. This, transi this transition can be a difficult time for some people. Keep in mind that change is nearly always needed. So this Death card is paired with Two of Swords. It's about your partnerships. They're likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. However, you'll have to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these connections and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your partner. If you are not, it may be time to bring things back into balance this will almost certainly require open communication on your part. Nothing will change, with, change without effort. Nothing. Okay, so with the Death card and the Two of Swords paired together, um, well, the Two of Swords is about things are going somewhat well, like I said. Things are going somewhat well. Something has um, caused some deep transformation with this death card. 
but over and overall you got the two of swords um, whatever the the deep transformation was um, it wasn't it didn't really shake you up too bad because this two of swords it's bringing you to a more balanced lighter easier phase in your life so Yeah, so you may need to communicate a lot with someone about whatever happened in this deep transformation. But once you do that, uh, whatever this deep transformation or deep change was, it just requires uh, you to talk to someone. Maybe you need to talk to someone about it, or maybe you uh, need to talk about it, whatever it is. And once you do that, you're going to find that um, you're more balanced. Okay, and things are not as heavy as they could be with this deep transformation. So that's what these two cards are about for your present time. Let's move on over and take a look at the challenge. And we have the justice and we have the will of fortune. Now justice is about the ideal of karma. And the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with at this time, it's not a direct. It's not always a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So make sure you don't blame yourself unnecessarily at this time, Gemini. If you're directly involved in a court case. It's likely to be, to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So this Justice card is here with the Wheel of Fortune. Now this card, it reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it's going to pass. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, changes. Live in the now, count your blessings. And just realize that much of life is really out of our control. But then that's even okay. Roll with any changes and think positive. So for your challenge, we have justice. You'll be brought clarity and truth with this justice. Something will be uh, probably coming back to you. What? Whatever you put out will be coming back to you at this time. Probably three times, ten times as as big. Because you know what they say about karma. It comes back to you bigger or more than what you put out. Some people say three times more or some people say ten times more. Karma is also known as the word, as what you probably heard um probably heard the word boomerang whatever you put out it's coming back to you well now this this is the time for you um, like I said it will bring you some clarity and some truth also that's with the justice card and um, it's paired with the will of fortune so whatever is coming back to you from what you put out to the universe maybe a long time ago or recently whatever it is it's not going to stay around long whether it's good or bad, it's gonna, the will is going to change and whatever is coming back to you, like I said, don't expect it to, to last long for some reason. Well, not for some reason, but because you have the will of fortune. Um, if it's good, you, you probably feel like you want it to stay, but it's not. It's not going to stay. Uh, the will is going to change. It's going to turn and something else will happen. And um, maybe it will come back to you if it's good. Uh, may, like I said, maybe you want it to stay. You don't want the will to turn. That's what I'm trying to say. But the will is going to turn for you. Uh, whether it's good or bad. Okay, so it's a turning point, And you have a lot of clarity and truth. Um, so it's a cycle for you. It's a, it's a cycle for you of change, clarity and truth. 
So that's going to be your challenge to deal with that. All right, so let's move on over to the outcome. And we have the Nine of Wands, and it's paired with the Knight of Cups. Now with the Nine of Wands, it's about anxiety. Right? You see how this man is behind these wands? And he's look, it looks like he's battling something, but he's actually battling nothing. There's no one around but trees. So there's some anxiety and worry being burned up. I'm sorry, being burdened and keyed up over some concerns. The first and best step is to take a deep breath, calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time if you must. Because at least some of the worries, they'll likely turn out to be imaginary. Like I said, there's no one around him. He's just got these wands. He's caged in these wands. And he's fighting no one. So things could be imaginary. So get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. What's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? Ask yourself that question. Comfort yourself. If you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it. Asking for help is the mark of a strong person. Now we have the Knight of Cups with this card. The Knight of Cups is, like most of the cups, very optimistic. It's a really good card to see, very good card to see in a reading. It comes with messages. The messages are good news messages, the kind of news that we all want and wish to receive. This Knight of Cups, it tells you that things are going to be going well. You're likely to be feeling, you'll be feeling charged up, full of energy, ready for action. This card often means, like I said, good news, really good news. Usually in the realm of matters of the heart. It's likely to be headed your way soon, Gemini. So with these two cards paired together for your outcome, you're, you're stressed about something. You're worried. You're keyed up. You're anxious. You've got a lot of anxiety. Very stressed out. But then we have this Knight of Cups. Someone wants to offer you a cup of love, and they're charging in. This could be someone that you don't know yet. You haven't even met them. But someone's coming in, it looks like they want to sweep you off your feet. Someone is interested in you, Gemini. They're here, they're coming your way soon. Yep, they're, ch they're charging in. They're not only coming, but they're, this man looks like he's on a fish, or a whale, or something and he's a he's taking off he's got that cup and he's ready to give it to you yeah the cups are a really good thing you're very positive so that's your outcome gemini i hope you enjoyed this reading i'll put a link below of the extended of this reading it'll be in the description box below i just want to say Gemini, I thank you so, so very much for watching. Please comment. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. So I'm wishing you a wonderful day. I'm hoping that you're enjoying 2020. And I hope that you have a very beautiful February.